The bar charts illustrate unemployment rate and average weekly earnings by education attainment in 2016. The workers who a doctoral degree had the lowest unemployment rate of 1.6% as compared to workers who have less education than a high school diploma had the highest unemployment rate of 7.4%. The later had the lowest median weekly earnings $504 in 2016 among those at all education levels. The image shows a bar graph that accounts of households with access to the Internet in the UK from 2006 to 2009, in percentages. In 2009, 70% of households in the UK had an Internet connection. This was up from 58% in 2006, 61% in 2007 and 65% in 2008. It shows a steady growth of 12% in the time period of three years. The bar chart compares the household ownership of consumer goods in 2008 and 2013, measured in percentage. In 2008, 76% of Georgia homes had a color TV and this increased to 91% in 2013. The majority of homes have a color TV, a refrigerator and cell phone in 2013. Overall it can be seen that more families had electronic devices in 2013 than in 2008. To conclude, as people got richer, they afforded more home appliances in 2013 than in 2008.
the provided bar graph compares the fertility rates of women in six different Gulf countries, between 1990 and 2000. The data shows a decline in the fertility rate over the decade in all the countries. The women in Oman and Saudi Arabia had the highest fertility rates during both of the years than the women in other four countries. Oman had the largest number of childbirths per thousand women, which was 7 in 1990 and just above 5 in 2000. This graph shows the poverty rate in the United States, among all people in 2012 by age and gender. As is evident in the bar graph, the individuals under 18 years of age were living below the poverty line and it constitutes approx 22% women and 21% men. In comparison to it, only 11% women and 6.6% .6 men aged 65 and older were living below the poverty line in 2012. The graphic demonstrates the change in the success rate for Canada from 1999 to 2002. The students in 2002 performed brilliantly, with a success rate of 87.5%. The success rate in Canada has been steadily increasing over the last three years and is now 21.5% higher than in 1999. 